with is we're going to dry out our peppers. Okay. So again, it's a bit of advance, and we, I've basically just cut them in half, okay. and I'm going to put them on a tray. And you can either dry them overnight. I mean, when we make this at work, we literally leave it two days in the kitchen, just drying in the heat. And I'm sure when they make it in Spain, they actually put it outside the back door and dry it. Okay. I don't doubt for a moment. No, and, and these already been would. charred. I mean, how, how would these you have all these been before? charred slightly. I mean, you can buy them charred, or you yeah, can do them yourself. But they'll have the little smoky flavour to them. That just adds and, some more. Yeah, flavor. exactly. And okay. then we're going to have a bit of uh, rosemary, like so. Just add rosemary to it, and a bit of um, sliced garlic. And we'll slice the garlic purely because what we're going to do is put it into the sauce. When we blend it all together with the crumbs and the almonds, we're going to have that in the sauce as well. So just, you know, slightly chop your garlic, like so. And you're just going to leave them dry for, I mean, you can put the, we're going to put them in the oven. You can yeah. put them in the oven for like two, three hours, very, very low just heat so low they heat dry out. Exactly. Of, again, it, does that intensify the flavour at all? I think, I think also it intensifies the flavour, plus what you don't want them to do is take any more colour and you don't want them to burn. Yeah. So you have to have them at low heat to dry them out, okay? So like so. Can you do so something now. similar to tomatoes? You can do, oh yeah, it's basically the same process. And as you see, what wow. I've prepared earlier, everything is, you know, it's slightly dry, it's really dried up now. You've got the garlic that's dried without catching any colour, you've got the rosemary, and that is going to form the basis of your crust. And how, how long was that in the, in the very That was probably before? two to three hours, or I would say sort of 48 hours in a warm kitchen. But we're a bit stuffy in the sense that we don't like leaving stuff out. But um, yeah, you know, health and safety. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah. We, we love health and safety. Yeah, of course we do. Right. So we're going to put our almonds in here, and we're going to add all our peppers into this beautiful contraption, and basically blend them all together. Okay. Okay. Very slight. You can feel it, how much it's dried up the peppers. You know, they're so, and they've got a great intensity of flavour. Stick your nose in there, you can just smell all the wow. amazing um, that, that You're jealous roasting. now, aren't you, Matthew? You want to smell that. There's a good <laughs> smell inside <laughs> me. And then we're going to add in our breadcrumbs. Okay, okay. Can I have a whiff? It's your okay. challenge. Hang on, before you do. Why bother to cook it? Can we just Why eat it like that? You keep yeah, saying right. that to me. You can eat <laughs> yeah. it like that. Okay, and we blend them up a bit more. Uh, and this one is sauce. Is this, is this is this sort of classic Spanish cooking? Is it what is there it's a It's something I, I sort of did a while, a couple of uh, years ago. I travelled around Spain a bit, yeah. and I had it in Valencia and on oh, the coast. And, Valencia, and I just yeah. loved it, and I've always had it since then. I just think it's amazing. And this as well, the other beauty of this is it stores. I mean, you could literally freeze it like so. She's not going to be, oh, crack it nearly, all that. <laughs> you just, or you just put it on the tray and, you know, put it in a bag into your fridge and it will store like so, okay?